mighty of you to choose the one that you say, quote unquote, ended your career. But I don't. Yeah, think well, <laughs> I don't think you're the only one. It was. Well, it made me. You. It made me realise it might be time to hang up my boots. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much for letting us in to this uh, lovely home. Pleasure. Quite the, quite the memories around this room is, as well, isn't it? It is. It's a room I don't often sit in. I don't uh, I use the snooker table as much as I, as I used to. Uh, probably don't have a bad back and everything. But um, no, it's got a few memories in here. It uh, reminds me of glory, glory years gone past. Well, the goal is to go down memory lane today. And as we were going around the room, you did find this one. This one's too big to have in the frame, but this is <laughs> the PFA Player of the Year award. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, yeah, that was amazing. I mean, when I, I look back at my journey, and at the age of 19, I was playing, playing non-league football. Yeah. Um, got a try with Middlesbrough, taken on, on a month-to-month -month contract. A year later, the club went bust, uh, went into liquidation, we nearly went, um, nearly didn't survive it, really. We were saved at the, the 11th hour. You know, the club went on an amazing journey um, from getting relegated to the third division, as it was back then, to getting promotion to the first division with, with a bunch of kids, really, mm -hmm. which was a, an incredible story. Actually making my England debut at age 22. Um, Not again, even in the first division? I didn't even, hadn't even played in the first division, no. Did you think at that time that uh, you can make no, it that, at that time, you know, that, at that time, listen, I've, I've said it quite often, if I'd have played all my career in the fourth division, I would have been delighted because, you know, I kept saying to people, I can make it as a professional, and every time I said that, I kind of got laughed at. Yeah. Um, but I eventually got there through Middlesbrough, and as I say, after that, the journey from playing for England and obviously signing for United in 89, um, left me pinching myself quite often, really. Where does winning the the PFA players, Player of the Season Award, rank among um, overall achievements, and there are quite a few as well. Um, it's huge because it's from your fellow professionals. Because it took me so long to make it into the game, I had a lot of self-doubt as well, really, mm -hmm. as much as I was saying I'm, I can be a professional, there was a lot of self-doubt there, and whether you could be accepted at that level, to actually get your, your fellow professionals voting you to be the, the Player of the Year it left a, a real special feeling. Your partnership with Steve Bruce goes down as one of the most successful mm. uh, centre-back partnerships in the club's history. So former centre-back as well, I need to ask, what is the secret behind a good centre-back partnership? Um, we were kind of different players. Um, you know, Brucey was um, a lot tougher than I was. He was a lot more aggressive than I was. Um, I was a little bit quicker than, than Steve was. I thought, I think you'd mind me saying that. Um, but we just, listen, it, 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 at the start, we were all over the place. I mean, I'd come from a, a team at Middlesbrough where we sat deep, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I've arrived at, at Manchester United where Steve's running up kind of a la Tony Adams with his hand up in the air, crying for offside, <laughs> and I'd be 10 yards behind him going, what are you doing? <laughs> so it was something we had to work on on the training ground for a period of time. Um, but I think the secret was that we just played a lot of games together. And... I want to take you back to that PFA winning season because yeah. I think in some ways it forms a backdrop of the success that you go on mm. to have as a, as a collective. Mm. Four Premier League titles, three FA Cups, a League Cup, a mm. European Cup, Winners Cup. The 91-92 season when you win it, I say only, you only won the League Cup. <clears throat> How was that season part of driving you as an individual and also as a team for then the following season ending that 26-year run was, that of was, winning English title? Yeah, that, that was massive. Um, because the manager, we lost the league, we lost the title to Leeds right. that year. You know, people, that was a lot of things saying we bottled it. I think if we'd had a fair crack of the whip, listen, fair play to Leeds, they won the title. I, you know what I mean? I, I won titles where we maybe should have been pipped and not mm -hmm. won them. I lost titles where I felt we should have won. That was that was one of them. I'll never forget Alex walking into the dressing room and saying, first day back in pre-season training, remember how you felt. 
remember the pain, remember the hurt, remember how you felt right now and um, take that into the following season. We played Leeds in the League Cup, I think semi-final, I think it was home and away. We played Leeds in the FA Cup. We obviously had two league games and the only, I think we won all the games by the league game away at Leeds, which we, which we drew. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that, that certainly drove the team on to, to go and achieve the following season because of the, the pain and the, and the hurt that we had from the 91-92 season. You have now the tough task of picking a five-a-side, your ultimate PFA winner's five-a-side. You've had a little look through them, but I guess yeah. where we'd like to start, we could go from goalkeeper and then up the field. Well, it's a, straight, it's a quite easy choice. Well, not an easy choice, because, that, that, listen, they were both fantastic goalkeepers. But I will edge uh, towards Schiltz with, uh, with European Cups and breaking the England... Oh, he's not, I don't think he's the record holder now, is he? Mm. Or is he? I'm not sure. Um, for, for an amount of caps, uh, which was amazing. So um, that's probably, yeah, that's an easier choice than the rest of them, only because it's down to two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've spoken to previous winners, and they tend to look through these, and you're one of the few defenders to have won it, and then they come to the thicker bunch. <laughs> yeah. which are the forward. Well, the glory guys are in the midfield, exactly. especially the centre forward. The centre forward is the thickest part, because the centre forward will tell you the hardest thing in football is to score a goal. Right. As I'm sure you will tell me as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I think um, typical centre forwards being so elitist, they always think they're the most important. Well, as the unofficial <laughs> designated defender union leader, you get to go through <laughs> right. this bunch. Yeah, well, Toddy, Toddy was my coach at Middlesbrough. I learned a lot from him. He was, I mean, the way he read the game, where he nicked in front of people to win the, to win balls. I'm not the biggest guy when you when you when you think about centre halves, um, but what a reader of the game, what a player. Are there anyone in that that you would most want to play with? Um, JT is very much like like Bruce. He was, I would I would guess. There's another. I mean, Paul McGrath. Wow. What a player. Um, I, I came to United re to replace him. He sold, they sold him to Villa and I, in 89 and I came in. I mean, you've got to try and fill his boots. <laughs> and what a, what a legend he was, uh, not only for Manchester United, but for, for, for Ireland as well. An inspirational character for so many people in, in Ireland. Um, so, yeah, I know you keep tough, saying a five-a-side team. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, if I was going with a five-a-side team, Playing on a five-a-side court, I would probably go with Toddy because yeah. <laughs> he was so good at five-a-sides <laughs> when when I when when he used to join in with us, and he used to laugh. He used to laugh at people how he could read the game. He'd you'd knock a ball into somebody, he'd just nip in front and whip, and he'd be laughing as he took <laughs> it. But if you're on about a five-a-side team, yeah, I think I'm sticking with Toddy. Brilliant. Have him then. <laughs> Unless you want to fill the entire five side with defenders, I guess we move well, on. Well, yeah, midfielders. you're going to go keep them. Yeah, I think you've got to go with two. So well, have those there. Yeah, let me have a look at this yeah. one. Yeah, now right, it's still not as thick as yeah. Reedy. I didn't realise Reedy had won it. Yeah. Um, but what a warrior! You know, great guy as well. Um, I'll never ever forget when I was he was at Man City and I was Manchester United and I just arrived there and I was in a restaurant and and. Um, Next minute, there's a bottle of champagne came over. I was having a meal with my girlfriend, and a bottle of champagne comes over, and I went, I've not ordered champagne, because I couldn't afford it. <laughs> and um, he said, another gentleman over there in the corner, has, and there was Reedy. Right. And he, it was like a welcome to Manchester. So I thought that was a real classy touch. Do you do two midfielders near your five or six? Yeah, well, that's, yeah, I'm do? thinking you might have to do two, like a, a you might have balance. to go flair and a bit of, and a bit of grit. Yeah. Um, and if you're talking about Flair, um, Liam Brady, um, what a silky act he was. Yeah, a, a wonderful passer and manipulator of the ball and, and scorer of great goals. So, yeah, I can see why he won it. Are there any other list of the players you played against or maybe seen from now having retired that have wowed you the most? Listen, no, obviously Messi. Yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo still up until sort of the last couple of years. Yeah, you've got Ronaldo um, coming up there as well on the strike forward. Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and rightly so. I mean, he's, you know, to watch him and Messi going head to head for Ballon d'Ors mm -hmm. year in, year out was, was amazing to watch. So, you know, rightly so, he won it. There's another player I admired greatly, apart from when he dived in a charity shield and won a penalty, <laughs> John Barnes. 
And uh, I just remember him saying, that's 40 pal I was like, <laughs> disappointed with you, Barnsley. <laughs> but yeah, great, great player, another great lad. There's another guy with, with pace and balance, Giggsy. Played with him for, for most of my career when I was at United. And then you have Roy. Uh, again, you're talking about driving forces and, and captains and another guy just made the game look so mm. simple and so easy. You know, the difficult things would just, it would just, it'd be second nature to him, you know? Very, very much like Brian Robson was mm -hmm. back when he was running the midfield at, at Manchester United. Um, Roy was, was very similar. Previously mentioned that when he came in, uh, when he got brought in for a record fee, he was a bit shy initially. Obviously there were big yeah, characters yeah. like yourself yeah, coming seen, in there. Yeah. How was it being part of that transformation from him coming in as a, as a shy boy, as, as, as it was stated, to becoming that larger than life character, being the talisman yeah, for I, I, I think, My roomie was David May for, for, for a while when he came to the club and he was, he was very much the same. Every, everyone I remember chatting to people from Blackburn about Mays and they're all going, oh, he's a nutter, isn't he? And I was going, yeah. never says boo to a goose. <laughs> Well, he wasn't quite as as as, um, as shy as Maisie was in his first year, but um, you know, the more the more you feel comfortable in your surroundings, the more you come out of your shell. And listen, we had some big characters there. You know, Robbo was 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 still there when he arrived. Um, you had Schmeichs in there. You had Brucey, Sparky, Brian McClare. So some huge egos and characters in that dressing room. So yeah, you can understand why you know he sort of took a bit of time to sort of like address it and look at it and think, yeah. And then eventually he starts, you know, once he starts producing the performance, which is, I mean, he, he, which wasn't a problem for Roy right from the get go. He was terrific for United. And um, the more he grew into into being a leader in the dressing room, as the older guys kind of moved on, mm -hmm. he was a natural to be a, a captain of Manchester United, you know, because. He had the personality to do that and the ability to do that. So, because I'd want somebody to, to protect um, the back line, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any better than Roy. See them four guys there: Bill, Giggs, Barnes, and De Bruyne. Yeah, I'm going to go with Giggsy. Yeah, I'm going to go with Giggsy because he played the, the wider role and he played the centre midfield role. And uh, again, in, in five sides. Uh, he's got the dexterity, I think, to be to be my, my winner in the five side. So yes, um, I'm, it's bias. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. I am used, I am being biased because I'm choosing the United players. Okay, Ryan Giggs then. Oh, Giggsy. Okay, then Giggsy and Keeney. Giggsy and Keeney. midfield. Yeah. Okay. Then we got one left for the forwards. I think for me, in this, well, I mean, Kenny Dalglish. How would you leave Kenny Dalglish out of the side? Uh, Wayne Rooney. Of know, that list. Were there any players you... Because some centre-backs have some strikers that they feel more I played against. I think against. Thierry Henry ended my career, really. <laughs> I played against him um, for Middlesbrough. Is that and, what uh, you realised? Was, was I 35? And I played against him and he, <laughs> he, he... I remember him knocking the ball past me and he... I think I had about five yards on him <laughs> and over the space about ten yards on past me. I had slowed down a little bit from my uh, from peak. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he 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 was wow. It's different again, Cantona. I mean, you're looking again. You're talking about five aside, so you probably choose different players for different for different um, type five aside or or the eleven aside. You know, I mean, you, you'd find it out the league leave Kenny Dalglish out of a side because what a player he was. Uh, you know, it's between Shira and. And Henri for me, do you know, I, I might, I'm probably going to edge to Thierry because of his pace. I mean, his pace was, he was rapid. He would, he would scare the bejesus out of you. So I'm going to stick with Thierry. Thierry, Henri, yeah. two-time winner. Two-time winner. Alan Shearer being a two-time winner as well. Yeah. Um, Mighty of you to choose the one that you say, quote unquote, ended your career, but I don't think, yeah, you're, well. the, I don't think you're the only one. <laughs> it was, well, he made me, it made me realise it might be time to hang up my boots. <laughs> um, I, I certainly think quite serious about it. Well, we've got a good one then. Um, you happy with the team? Overall balance? Everybody yeah, I think that's, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Uh, I think that's got a bit of flair, a bit of toughness about it as well. Yeah. Um, and goals, obviously.